Hey bookworms! So today I'm going to do a book haul for you guys and I haven't done one in quite a long time so some of these books I have already read and I will put a review up for them pretty shortly and I will kind of point out the ones I've read to you. So the first one I bought is Betrayal by Danielle Steele and I have already reviewed this and posted it on my channel so if you haven't seen that I'll pop the link in the description below and you can go watch that video and find out what this book is about. The second book is uh, Body Double by Tess Gerritsen and I literally just finished this last night. I know I posted on Twitter that I had stayed up till 2am reading a book. This is the book that I stayed up till 2am reading. It is ridiculously incredible and I will film a review for this probably tomorrow when I'm at work and post that for you as soon as I can. The third is my City of Bones book which if you follow me on Twitter you will know that I actually misplaced this. I found it yesterday, it was in the um, glove compartment of my car so I found this and I'm, all, I'm halfway through so I'm going to pick up from where I left off hopefully it's going to get slightly better near the end I'm not quite sure, I'm not enjoying this as much as I thought I would but hey ho, I'll get into that in my review of it the fourth is Look Again by Lisa Scottaline and it's basically about a character who sees a poster of a missing child and kind of looks at her son and goes oh my goodness that's my child, I've adopted someone who's been kidnapped and that's all I know about this story but I'm quite looking forward to reading it. The fifth is Friends Forever by Danielle Steele and I actually bought this at the same time as I bought City of Bones because as you can see it was buy one get one for one pound and I'm not actually entirely sure what this book is about because I was rushing around trying to find a second book that I wanted and I saw Danielle Steele and thought I'm going to buy that one because I like the author so hopefully it's a good book. I don't know. I don't know what it's about. Though I'm assuming from the title that it's about friendships and friendships changing as people progress into adulthood because it seems like a fairly self-explanatory title. The next book is another Danielle Steele book, it's called Family Ties and it's about a character who has a really successful job but gets a phone call one night and basically says that her sister has passed away and she's now the legal guardian of her three nibblings. Fun fact, nibbling is a gender neutral term for a niece or a nephew in case you were wondering. So yeah, again, another Daniel Steele book, didn't really read the blurb, but hopefully it's going to be a pretty good book. The next book is Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks. I've heard really good things about this book, it's been made into a film, I love Nicholas Sparks and I've loved every book I've read of his, so I just kind of picked it up like, yeah, I'm going to buy that. And for those of you who are going to moan at me for getting the movie cover, just, just don't. Don't even open that door of controversy because I can't be bothered to argue with you. And last but not least we have the Mage Runner trilogy. So we have the Mage Runner. Oh, I just dropped a book. But we have Scorch Trials and we have The Death Cure. Now I actually picked these up in a book called The Works and I know I've mentioned it before but it's basically a bargain bookstore we have here in the UK. And these books came in a box set that cost me 4 99 4 99 for three books. Like how incredible is that? Considering each one of these books have a price on the back of £6.99, so they're meant to be £6.99 each, and I got all three for £4.99. So, go the works. I, I like bargaining books. So that is all the books I have to show you guys today. Like I said, I've already read a couple of these, so I've already read The Maze Runner, so I will review that and post a review for it as soon as I can. And as I mentioned earlier, I have already read... Uh, the Body Double, because that's the one I stayed up late reading. So again, I will film a review of that as soon as I can, and you'll get it shortly. And it's not going to be too long until you get a review of City of Bones, because I'm already halfway through it. So, lots of reviews coming your way in the near future. And also, I'm really annoyed because my iPad ran out of memory, so I had to delete a video to finish filming this video. And I deleted my video of my review of Nicholas Sparks... Uh, message in a bottle and I don't remember whether I've actually edited that and uploaded it. If I haven't then I've just lost a review and I'm sorry you're never going to get that because it's deleted. But in short I liked the book, you should read it too. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.